Hi, my name is Kevin Kawai. I'm the Marketing Communications Coordinator with Celestron. Today I am pleased to be here to kick off our new instructional video series, which will be offering you tips on how you can better enjoy your Celestron telescope as well as our fine Celestron products. Recently, we received a lot of inquiries from people all over the world who are interested in astrophotography but don't really know where to begin or where to start. In today's episode, we would like to show people how to connect your digital camera to their telescope, whether it's a point and shoot, a webcam, a DSLR, or a CCD camera. That way, they will have a basic understanding of how the components come together. The first method today that I'd like to speak with you about is called digiscoping. Now, if you ever held your point and shoot camera up to the lens of a telescope or a spotting scope, well, congratulations, you've already got your feet wet in digiscoping or afocal photography. Now, you'll also notice that sometimes it can be of a challenge for you to actually center the object that you are trying to take a picture of. Well, guess what? I have a better solution for that. The solution is using a digital camera adapter like this. How it works is you fit this over the eyepiece like so. You crank it down, not too tight, just so that it's nice and snug. You then take your point and shoot camera and if you look on the bottom of it, you'll see a quarter 20 bolt thread, threaded hole here. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and tighten it up like so. Okay, make sure you turn on your camera. Okay, and now you'll notice that there are knobs here and here. So if I manipulate this knob this way, let's make sure that this is nice and tight. The camera will move to the left. And if I move this knob here, I can go ahead and center the object right where I want it to be. Once I have the image that I want to take a picture of centered, I just go ahead and snap the picture. Simple as that. And this is a great way to take pictures of terrestrial objects or even pictures of the moon. Fantastic way to get your feet wet in digiscoping or afocal photography. The next method that I'd like to speak with you today is called webcam imaging. Webcam imaging is a great way to take lunar or planetary images. Celestron offers a next image solar system imager here. This has an inch and a quarter inch barrel which fits right into the visual back like so. This webcam captures streaming video and with the software included is able to stack the images throw away the bad frames, and leave you with a nice sharp image of the moon or, or a planet. Now, if you want to increase the image, all you need to do is utilize a Barlow lens. So what you will need to do is get the next image, insert it into the Barlow lens, like so, tighten it up, and insert it back into the visual back. couple of methods is going to involve DSLR cameras. One of the great ways of taking a wide-angle shot of the Milky Way or meteor showers is to piggyback a DSLR camera to the rear cell of a schmidt cassegrain telescope. To do this, you need a piggyback adapter. So we have our Celestron piggyback adapter here. So what I'm going to do is screw it into the two, two holes here which I had already taken out the screws previously. Okay. Once it's nice and snug, we can go ahead and mount our DSLR camera. Once again, on the, on the bottom of it, there's a quarter 20 bolt hole, th threaded bolt hole. Line it up. And now, you'll be able to use the normal or wide angle lens piggyback mounted onto the schmidt Green telescope so you'll be able to take the nice wide angle field of view pictures that you are, that would be great for meteor showers or Milky Way. What's also great about it too is that 
You can also have your eyepiece here so you can actually see the same part of the sky that you're taking a picture of. One of the great advantages of having a piggyback mounted DSLR camera attached to a computerized telescope is that the telescope has tracking on it so that for shorter exposures the telescope will be able to track the object while you're taking an image. However, if you're going longer than 30 seconds, it's advisable to have this, a fork-mounted alt-azimuth telescope mounted to a wedge to alleviate field rotation. Another method of using your DSLR camera is attaching the camera to the prime focus of your telescope. To do this, let me go ahead and remove this camera. First, what I'll need to do is remove the lens that it came with. Next, I will need to attach a T-ring. When acquiring a T-ring, make sure that your T-ring is brand specific. This particular T-ring is made for a Canon EOS camera, which I have right here. So what you'll need to do is first insert it. Okay. Next, you will need a specific T adapter to mount the T-ring onto. So here I have my Celestron T adapter. And I'm going to make sure nice and tight. Next, I'm going to attach the T adapter to the rear cell of my schmidt casperian telescope here. We don't need the visual back, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Put that there. And thread on the T adapter to the rear cell of the telescope like so. Okay. So now, the telescope is essentially acting like a giant telephoto lens and this is a great method to take terrestrial objects or short exposures of the moon or planets. The last method that I'd like to cover with you today is fast star imaging. Fast star imaging utilizes a hyperstar lens assembly in conjunction with a CCD camera. One of the advantages of this method is ultra-fast F2 imaging, which is 25 times faster than the previous method that I showed you with the DSLR camera mounted on the rear of the telescope. So you'll be able to take short, quick exposures, 25, 30 seconds, and another good thing about it is that you don't need any polar aligning, you don't need any guiding because the images are so fast. So to mount the Hyperstar lens assembly, you will need to first make sure that your telescope is Fast Star compatible. This Nexstar 6SC just happens to be Fast Star compatible with a removable lock ring here, which I will demonstrate to you. Be careful that you don't touch the corrector plates while you're doing this. Remove the ring. Take out the secondary mirror and make sure that it's placed securely. Next, you're going to mount the Hyperstar lens assembly onto the threads, like so, okay, until it's nice and snug. Next, you're going to get your CCD camera and also mount it to the threads of the Hyperstar lens system. Once it's nice, snug, and secure, then you can go ahead and mount your cables to it. Well, I hope today's episode gave you a basic understanding of the different ways that you can attach your digital camera to your telescope. To see celestial images taken by other Celestron customers, please visit the Celestron Images website at www.celestronimages.com. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again on the next installment of our instructional video series.